At Metro Animal Services, hundreds of adoptable dogs are desperately waiting for their forever family. And it is a matter of life or death. When space runs out, tough decisions have to be made. This week's WHAS 11 shelter star is Taz, a three-year-old goofball with infectious energy who just makes you want to smile. He'd rather play and get some love. <laughs> He's as goofy as he is sweet. Meet three-year-old German Shepherd mix Taz. He is a complete goofball. Chelsea Yonders has been a volunteer at Metro Animal Services for almost a decade. She's seen what happens when dogs stay in the shelter too long. She says they lose their personality. They lose hope. Incredibly, despite almost four months in the shelter, this sweetheart still hasn't lost his smile. He's been here since the middle of December and his time here hasn't made him change. He's still a happy-go-lucky dog. He loves to play with toys. Um, he's been playful with other dogs on leash. Taz is considered a playgroup superstar. He does great with other dogs. He knows basic commands, but still gets excited and could use a bit more training. This big boy doesn't always know his size, so his ideal home might be one without small kids. As for his energy level, it's a 10 out of 10. He loves to run, he loves to play, but don't be fooled. He has a sweet side too. He's not always wild. He can be calm and chill and walk great on a leash and be a lazy lap dog. But, you know, I mean, it's hard to see that because he's cooped up for, you know, almost 24 hours a day, almost every single day. That's the heartbreaking reality for dogs in the shelter. One these volunteers are forced to cope with day after day. Yeah, I get extremely emotional whenever it comes to the dogs being adopted. Chelsea knows the perfect family for Taz is out there. We just have to find them. So if you think this lovable goofball could fit in your home, give him a shot. It could save his life. Paul, Paul. No, he's like, can you rub my belly? <laughs> can you rub Taz is just the best boy. Well, if your home is already full of furry friends, here's the three things you can do to help. Oh, combat that overcrowding at the shelter. First, make sure your pet's microchip chip information and collar information is up to date. Second, keep cats and dogs inside or on a leash or within a secure fenced in area. And number three, make sure you spay and neuter all of your pets.